This is MathGuy.com, and uh, my name is Mark Karadimos. Glad you could join me uh, so that we could talk about how to subtract polynomials. Uh, I'm going to show two examples on how to do this. And here's our first example. Uh, we're going to have 3x squared minus 2x plus 5. That's our first polynomial. And to that, we're going to subtract this polynomial, which is 9x squared minus 4x plus 3. When you see subtracting polynomials in math textbooks, you'll routinely see one polynomial in set of parentheses, as will the other. It'll let you know what two polynomials we're working with. So we're subtracting those two polynomials. Uh, you'll also know that uh, you know, there's a process for dealing with subtraction that is very analogous to dealing with integers. We're going to change this subtraction problem right there. We're going to change this from subtraction to addition. Now, we're going to be very careful how we do that. The way we do that is, just like we do with integers, is we're going to take the opposite. Think of this like an opposite sign. We're going to take the opposite of everything that's comes after it. So we're going to take the opposite of everything after our subtraction sign. So think of it like an opposite sign. So the opposite of 9 is negative 9. The opposite of negative 4x is positive 4x. All right, and then the opposite of a positive 3 is a negative 3. So once we've changed everything to the opposite, we're now going to consider this uh, like a addition problem. So that's what we're doing, changing from addition, uh, sorry, from subtraction to addition. Um, now just like we did when we added polynomials, we're going to take this horizontally laid out problem and we're going to change it into a vertically laid out problem. All right, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this second polynomial right here and I'm going to rewrite it below the first polynomial and I'm just going to be very careful as to line up like terms. So the negative 9x squared goes underneath the x squared term right there. Now you see the 4x goes underneath the x right here. Alright, and then finally we have a minus 3 and it's going to go underneath the number right here. Alright, so that is what we're going to add. Now remember we did change this to an addition problem so I am adding these two polynomials. All right, so I'm going to take 3 plus negative 9. In other words, I'm just adding the coefficients here. So 3 plus negative 9 is negative 6. x squared. Negative 2 and positive 4 makes 2 x's. And then 5 and negative 3 makes positive 2. And there you go. There's our final solution all done there. So we've definitely changed from subtraction to addition. We're done. All right, let's go on to our second example. Not much more I could talk about that problem, so let's move on to our second one. So our second problem, and I always like to leave the second one to be uh, to demonstrate another level of difficulty, is, uh, well, it'll become apparent in a moment. So 2x to the fourth uh, minus 3x plus 6 is one of our polynomials. So I'm going to put that right away in parentheses. And I'm going to be subtracting this polynomial, which is going to be a 2x squared minus 7x plus 1. All right, so we've got these two polynomials. And again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this problem from a subtraction problem. You'll notice that, yep, that is a subtraction sign. But I'm going to change that to addition by, again, just taking the opposite of everything right there. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. So the opposite of 2 is negative 2. The opposite of negative 7 is a positive 7. And then the opposite of positive 1 is a negative 1. And once we've made that change, it is now no longer a subtraction problem. Just like integers, We've changed it now into an addition problem. Uh, all right, now the way we deal, dealt with uh, adding polynomials is we took the second polynomial and we rewrote it underneath 
the first polynomial. All right, but the problem is, if you haven't already seen the problem, is that we have a gap here in powers. We have a fourth power, and then we have over here a first power. And there's a huge gap. We skipped cubes and squares. So what commonly what people do to you know deal with this minor dilemma is they put placeholders. So they're going to put, hey, I've got no x cubes. I've got no x squares. Squareds. Okay, trying to be a little neat here. And I got a minus 3x and a positive 6. All right, but I'm still going to take this second polynomial and I'm going to rewrite it underneath the first. And I'm just going to make sure that I line up like terms. So when I put this negative 2x squared, it's going to go underneath the square term right there. And the 7x goes underneath the x term. And likewise, I have a minus 1. It's going to go underneath the constant term right there. All right, so once you've done that, you've lined up like terms with the assistance of these placeholders. We are now going to combine like terms. And uh, again, this is now an addition problem. All right, so I got 2x to the fourths plus no x to the fourths. It's 2x to the fourth. No, definitely there's no x cubes. No x cubes. There are, let's see, 0 minus 2 or 0 plus a negative 2. There's a negative 2x squares. Negative 3 plus 7, and again, you'll notice I'm just combining coefficients, numbers in front of the letters. So negative 3 plus 7 is, uh, let's see, positive 4. And then over here I got 6 and negative 1, which is a positive 5. All right, now, you know what some people do is they collapse this down, and they don't write this placeholder in here. They get rid of this placeholder, and they rewrite it as just the 2x to the fourth. Not that there's anything wrong with the placeholder. Uh, sometimes just people eliminate it. Uh, they just want to write it, you know, in a more compact fashion. And there's your final answer. All right, and there I would say I am done, about as much as I could possibly do with that. And uh, there you have it. So make sure you go back to mathguide.com, check out our, all our interactive quizzes, uh, numerous lessons, and activities. Take care.